Okay, I think I think we are live for day four. Nice and early to the party. Uh, not really, but hey, let's see what we can see and let's see if the chat works. Um, oh, I need to sign in for that. Oh, that isn't real handy now, is it? No, so that doesn't really work. But we'll keep it. We'll keep it here to see how that goes and. We are going to go have a look, see what today's challenge is. Here we are. Hello, hello. I can't read the chat. I just can't reply. Hmm. Okay. Day four. Our ASCII art is forming nicely. It's making big jumps, though. That's weird. So let's see. We um, Yesterday we had a terrible day trying to get our gondola fixed with all the gears and the parts. Wasn't really an easy feat, to be honest. Um, but now that we're up, we're gonna go to a very warm and humid area. And um, there's an elf with a pile of colorful square cards. Those are probably scratch cards. Um, he just operates the lift. We're on Island Island, but the gardener knows where we need to be, but he's on a different island. So we need to get to the different island. It's surrounded by water, but not the floating kind. Um, weird. Oh, but we can borrow his boat to visit the, car the gardener. That's good. He's got all scratch cards, but he needs to know what he has won. So what do they look like? Let's see what they look like. Um, which have won. So we get a list. And then these in the list of winning numbers, the first match for yeah. So these are the winning numbers. These are your numbers, and we need to count how many we won, and then count the score. That sounds like another job for Pars Far in Rex again. So we better. Um, we better have a look see on how we do that. So we have to go um, We have to go not here. This is yesterday's pain. We want to go Probably why doesn't this work? Why is it not streaming my thing? Because Because that one is messing up. Yes, there we go so I'm going to get into our system here and start Well, we get to see the pain of yesterday again. Don't look at day two for yesterday or part two. That was terrible. Add 2023 day four. Let's go. So here's our dummy placeholder. Um, Rex that reads the input file that we have downloaded um, and then we're going to parse that file but we need to um, we need to get those numbers out right so I'm just going to copy and paste in some some of the example data so we know what we're working with Sample data to parse. Get some blank lines in for ease of reading. So we need to parse far file.i, the record we've read from our stem, from our file, and it looks like card card with a space and then card and then a colon and then winning with a pipe separator and then hours. So that should stick um, number one into card this whole string into winning and this whole string into ours but we better go test that first 
So we're gonna say file dot one equals hope it fits equals this thing. And we're just gonna fake that we only have one record in. So we're gonna say card card winning winning hours hours not day but say that should work that should work nicely oh yes I'm getting grips with the puzzle too but um, I think it's safest to first get that data parsed and then see what we need to do so we are just gonna run our solution here well that looks good that really looks good I think this might be easier than I feared one try so that works let's get this no let's get the points for that first card to see if it matches our our text that might be good so um, yes um, I think it's even easier because we can just loop through this on words, the, the Rex variant of split. And then we get those numbers, we see if that number is in that, and we get a point. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. So, um, our numbers, um, numbers equals the amount of words in hours. There's already a plan. And then we have to loop through those words. So do number equals one to how oh, we can we can get rid of that. That's one line we don't need. Iterate through our numbers. The number equals word hours comma n. And then I think, I think we have a word pos function in Rex that we can use for that. Let me just Google that up, Rex word pos, and show you that screen. Let's see if you see that screen, yes. So, word pos, oh, come on Google. And come on. IBM knowledge base word plus phrase string start returns the word number of the first word of phrase found in string. So it's needle haystack. Needle haystack. Okay. Okay. Copy that out just to be sure. And let's let's have a look see. So um, paste that in. We need um, winning equals the word position of our number in winning. And if winning is greater than zero, then do end. <clears throat> hmm. Now what do we need to keep track of? We're just gonna say it first and check with our check with our example. So say um, correct our number. Get rid of this placeholder. Hmm. So 
when we run this we want to see correct numbers on 83, 86, 17 and 48. Hmm, run. Only 83. What are we doing? Checking an MBR. Because we should check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different numbers. Run. Only 83 is correct. 83, 86 should also be correct. Why is 86 not correct? Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Run it again. So 86. But it is in winning. Do we have that the wrong way around? Haha. <laughs> Why is this not running the way I think it is running? Let's have another look. Let's have another look at our at our thing. Oh, no mouse anymore. That's weird. Holy moly, what happened here? Word post the now is the time three. Should work. What are we doing wrong? What are we doing wrong? Checking the number. Let's run it again. Increase our try counter. Eighty three is at three. does not seem to find 86 where it should. How is that possible? How is that possible? We might not go with winning, but we go with just pause or index. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can we do this? Just get the position of that string in winning. And then we might fail with like numbers that don't match fully. Hmm, run. Eight. It just says 86 isn't there in winning, but it is. See if we're doing weird things, weird things. See if there's any space shenanigans going on. I don't get it. And chat isn't really helpful either, huh? What is wrong with WordPress? What is wrong with WordPress? We're gonna we're gonna have to do a debug test. Say word pos of 86 in 10 10 86 now that should say 3 right 3 so why does it come out 0 there make a typo and there's one to words hours 
Ah, we're messing up the variable here. Holy moly, we're winning and winning and then it's destroyed. That is so lame. I think I think we need to do this. Yes. Okay. So we turn this into we win. We win one. We win one. We win one greater than zero, then do. We can get rid of this. <clears throat> you wonder why my try counters get so high. Number nine. So 83 is correct, 86 is correct, 17 and 48. Yeah, that is good. That is really good. Now, um, now we best properly we best properly read our um, read our puzzle again. So what is it we need to do? Count the amount of winning numbers. One for the first match and then doubled. So double, double, double. Okay. Uh, points, let's call it points, equals an empty string, we're going to add that to our points, points equals whatever we had plus that number, plus that number, and probably I did not switch back to the thing, huh? So now we do. Yes, now we do. So we're going to add a big string of points. And at the end of the card, which is here, let's just see what we see first. So we can go to 10. Yeah, so we got four winning numbers. I think that matches with our puzzle text. Um, yeah, four winning numbers. That is perfect. That is perfect. Yeah, it was, um, I read the chat now, it lags a bit, but it failed on that word pos because I was overwriting the variable of the winning numbers that we were checking, so it didn't find anything. So we got our points. Mm. Then we need the amount, so that's the amount of words and points. Good ones equals the words and points. Mm. So that is four. And then we need to do that trick, one for the first, and then double, double, double. So if good ones greater or equal to one if we have yes if we have I'll wait for the chat what do we do here if we have more than one we get one point for the first then double the points for every other good one. So isn't that two to the power of good ones minus one? Two to the power of good ones minus one. <clears throat> I think we do powers like this. We scored score. Oh, 
but that breaks if we have one good one, because if good ones is one, then this is two to the power of zero is one. No, it should it should work. So we should get eight points here. That looks good. That looks really good. So let's let us comment this and maybe oh then we get for every card do we need to accumulate them at the end or what does it want us to do <clears throat> let's take a look we got the points correct I'll add up all the points. Okay, add up all the points. Um, here we go. Add up all those points. So we need a total of zero. A total equals total plus score. And then once we're done looping, we're going to say part one total. I do feel I want to test it with all the input data from the example, because the example tells us we get 13 points. So I am going over here to paste all our example data in. Do some ISPF edit shenanigans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we shift these ten to the right. Now we do it nine. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do our placeholder equals quote over there. And a quote over there. We're going to move that over this block. We got card one double, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six things. Move that over here. So we're running the full test and we should get 13 points. We should get 13 points. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Run it, try 12. Too much data, but we get 13 points. So I think I trust that. We're gonna get our example data a bit more proper. One line here. Get rid of that stuff. Get rid of that stuff. One of the scores in between, so we see how many cards is in our real data. Yeah, how many stacks? That would be good. How many scratch cards? Let's see. Run it. Oh, still printing too much. We are still printing too much. Yeah, I'm not going to make this count as a... Hi! Not going to make it count. So... We... Get rid of this one too. So we don't get all that cumbersome output. We're going to leave this. Yes, we're going to leave this. A variable in the middle. Mm -hmm. Still too much print data. And we missed the answer. So we're going to get rid of another, say, points. We're going to get rid of this. 
14 because we don't want to yeah we don't want to we don't want to do that so here's all our points per card as expected it's all powers of two it is all powers of two which is not amazing due to the two to the power of woo well the moment of truth we're gonna copy this we are gonna go to our advent of code get our puzzle in and oh baby we got one gold star that's very good <clears throat> that is very very good hooray 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 for rex parse farce and word counts so we can say we've solved that one 14 tries but we have to continue to part two we have to continue to part two that just as we're about to report our findings yes because we feel really really good about ourselves um, the rules are printed on the back of every card there's no such thing as points instead scratch cards only cause you to win more scratch cards equal to the number of winning numbers you have specifically you win copies of the scratch card below oh my goodness what are you doing <clears throat> below the winning card equal to the number of matches so if card 10 would have to have five matching numbers you would win one copy one two three of the five cards below and have the same card number as the card they copied so if you win a copy of card 10 and it has five matching numbers it would then win a copy of the same cards that the original card won oh my goodness what has happened here this process repeats until none of the copies cause you to win any more cards. Cards will never make you copy a card past the end of the table. What? Oh, what? So we still have four. So we win a copy of the next four. One, two, three, four. We get those twice. Your original card two has so we need to keep track of copies of cards so we have an amount but it stores there In total, the example of past is 30 scratch cards. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We better, we better, we better think this through. So, if we have matches, we copy those cards. Hmm. Hmm. I am not all too sure about this. I think we can reuse most of part one. So we're going to copy year 23, day four, part one after here. <clears throat> we're still going to work with example data first, move after. But now, but now we need to we need to keep track of how many of each card we have so that parsing still works, but we need to keep track of the amount of copies. Hmm. Okay. Copies off. We make a stem. I 
and it's one. For default, we have one copies of. Mm -hmm. And we don't need to calculate points. Was that the thing? Read it again. <clears throat> We don't need to calculate points. We need to calculate how many scratch cards we end up with. But how does that work? Yeah, so it's like it's growing immensely. What the hell? We might need numeric digits 32 for this one. Um, Okay, so we don't need to keep track of points. Well, we do. We don't. We do. We need to keep track of points. But we don't... We don't need this bit. We don't need this bit. Now for each point, we get a copy of current card plus X cards. But we have to keep into account, yes, so over here, we first need to make sure that if copies of dot cards, not if, do copies equals one to copies of our card, shift that over there, we need something smart here, <laughs> we need something smart here, so I want to loop through those copies and then calculate the points we're doing that here, but then for the points, we need to we need to do that within the copy. Move uh, after here, right? Because enter words, which was just points. No, 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 no. It's... Let's get rid of this. Hmm. So if points is one, we get one copy of the next card. If points two, three, four. So we need to iterate through the points. And I think we do that for every copy, so we do that here. For P in, no, do P equals one to points. Oh, we don't make the string here, but we just make a number. Because we're not interested in that anymore. So we got 1.2.3. So for P is 1 to points. What do we do? Copy card equals... 
card plus P. Say need and how many copies? How many copies do we create? Just quickly reading the text again. How many copies do we need? Four matching numbers. Here. One copy. Yeah, we get one copy of the extra one. Need one extra copy of card. Card. So copies of dot card equals copies of card plus one, which means that loops goes bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, we need to keep track of our total cards. We do that over here. Card one, card two, card three, card four, card five. So yeah, we can say copies of dot zero. So our index counter equals um, card. Mm, this will be part two. Are we running with test data? We are running with our test data. So, um, judging this side by side with the text, we need one extra copy of card two, of three, four, and five, three, four, and five. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I think that really looks okay. So, um, now we need to, we need to, oh my goodness, Herb, this is so brain wrecking at this point of the day. We need to go do our iterator equals one to copies of dot zero. Total equals total plus copies of dot i. And then when we run it, our answer should be 30. Ha! 42. It is a good number. It is a good number, but it is not correct. So what are we doing wrong? What are we doing wrong? wrong. It's too much to know, so you win one copy of card. Three, your copy also wins a card. Yeah, we're doing that, right? We are doing the copies, but we're doing the copies too often. Do copies is one, two words, two copies of card. Let's do some debug. We have copies of card dot card <laughs> copies of card. Run it again. Run it again. But it doesn't look nice. Copies of, did we mess that up here as well? Nope. Okay, run it again. We have one copies of cards. <clears throat> OK, 
can't see how I get to 42. Mm -mm -mm. Total is initialized correctly. We need one extra copy of our card. Card. Put that there. Hmm. I'm going to check this with the example text again. For some reason I can't stream share both screens, so I'm just looking. Processing copy one of card one gives us two, three, four, and five. Then we have two copies of card two. Processing copy one gives us copy three, four. Copy two gives us three, four, five, and six. Why do five and six come in there? That is what's going wrong. They shouldn't be here. Why are they there? Are we messing up variables again? <clears throat> Cards, copies of because winning in hours doesn't change for the copy. Ah, yes. I think we need to reset our points on the copy level, not at the start. That should be it. 30. Yep, always check your loop counters and variable initializations. Do we feel confident? Yes, we do. Move that after here. So all that is commented out. And we are gonna... Ooh, seven tries. Run it. And this is probably gonna be one truckload of output. Mm. Cold coffee, always nice. And we keep clicking. We're not going to make this one count either. Attention, please. And we say, hi. We're going to get rid of some of our... Get rid of some of our printouts here. That one can go away. That one can go away. Mm -hmm. Run it. Oh, heavy. Heavy, heavy. Maybe we shouldn't loop. Maybe we don't have to loop through the copies and do the calculations, but we can just do the calculation and then loop about the effect of the calculation. Because this is crazy. This is crazy. Luckily, it didn't count. Ha! Okay. Move. After. So, performance matters, huh? So here we are looping the cars. So maybe we should make that loop go here. Maybe we should make that loop go here. Yeah, we're just going to back up what we have, just in case we make something really stupid. Uh, just in case we make something really stupid. Create back. There. Mm. So I think 
because we're looping across the heavy stuff here we should just be looping here so we're gonna move this loop over here indent it by two it's gonna come back anyway but indent that by two and that bit and that bit so we've got a do and we've got our do and I do and this whole bit now moves back to so now we're gonna start with zero points we calculate the points of our card and then we do this we should still get to 30 oi 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 did that improve our performance run Still running. Holy moly. Well, it is quite quite the bit faster, so the moment of truth arrives where we are going to go to our um, advent of code, paste in that answer. Why is my part two gone? There. How many scratch cards do we end up with? Well, one, two, three, one, two, it's 1 1.4 million scratch cards. Poor elf. And we're not right. Oh my goodness, what did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? Oh. Move this after again. It's always this shenanigans when 30. And 30 is correct. So what logic did we falter? What did we falter? We all start with one copy. I don't think we're troubled with overflows yet. So I am kind of lost on why this fails. Copy self equals equals card. Let's look at our data. Let's just first look at our data. Two hundred and seven cards. There's nothing weird here. There is nothing weird here. And he doesn't have like double your numbers here because we would have failed at part one. Hmm. Hmm. It looks so easy and it isn't. What is wrong? Let's read it again. Card one, copy of card two also wins. Four instances of card three. You have two bets in so you win four copies. Four copies? Yeah, 
five. Hmm. Eight instances of card four. Mm. Oi, oi, oi. Process all the original and copied scratch cards until no more scratch cards are won. Until no more scratch cards are won. Process all of the original and copied scratch cards. I think the magic is there. Original and copied, but we can never copy the one we're on. We can never copy the one previous. So we must copy. We can only go to the end. Now let's do a test if copies of zero equals mm, total originals copies of dot zero. Are we running test data? So we should get six as the answer, right? Run. And with our Yes, oh, I didn't show the data. Let's do it here. So we should get six here. We'll run it again. We still have six originals. Um, some debug here, say card I copies of I. Copy of card two, four instances of card three, that matches eight instances of card four, 14 of five, and one of six. There's no matching numbers. So maybe we stop there. Maybe we need to stop. Maybe we need to stop when points are zero. I think that is the case. So, um, if points equals zero, then leave. Put the text there until no more scratch cards are won. Until no more scratch cards are won. We should still get 30. Now we get 29. Yes, because we missed that part. That is. How do we miss that card? If points are zero, then leave. But then we miss card number six that we store here. Debug, say, on card card. On card one, two, three, four, five. Why doesn't it go to six? Because five doesn't win any cards.
Hmm. So it's not that. It is not that. Six originals. I don't get it. I really don't get it. And I think we're streaming for too long, so I can't see the chats either, which is weird. I can chat here, <coughs> but um, I am lost. I am really, really lost. Which is annoying. Let's go through our code one more time, side by side, and see why it works for the example data, but doesn't work for the real data. So let's run it and see if we get those 207 cards that we saw in our input data set file thing. Loads output, card 1, card 41, it goes to 207, 143 is a hard one, it gets bigger and bigger. So we get so many copies of everything. Total is 207. Jeez, these are big numbers. 1435566. I cannot make it any different. 1435566. But it's too low. It's too low according to it. So we're missing something. We are missing something. How can we miss something? Copies is one to copies of cards. P is one to points. The points we set at zero. I think I think that is correct. So terrible to falter like this live on the YouTubes. Um, we get I mean it all works and then it doesn't. So Total originals, 207. We don't get zeros. One, two points. Doesn't it do it if it's one? What? Processing copies, copies of cards, cards. Do it again, run. Processing copy one of card one, processing copy one, processing two. So one of one works. Copy one of three, copy two of three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fourteen. I am lost. I am really, really lost. So to not bore the stream much longer, I'm gonna end the stream and um